Lori here again. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Lori and welcome to Lori's Book Trials. I didn't write the tag part in the thing, but I am doing a tag and the Read and Rush Day at Home TBR. So the tag has to do with the stay at home, read it that. <laughs> now, some of this I'm not going to be very good at, but we'll try it. And it's from today, the 16th through the 19th. Yes, I don't know if I'll have this one up today. It might go up tomorrow, but I'll start reading today. <laughs> the first question is, how is your reading going while you're in isolation? You guys know mine has been really bad, unfortunately. So, yeah. Uh, the next one is, where have you been reading at while you're in isolation? Basically right here on my recliner, every once in a while on my rocking chair out in the living room. But mostly it's in my bedroom. Um, the next one is favorite book that you read while in isolation. Well, we weren't officially in isolation yet, but it was when we were getting ready to go in isolation. So everybody should know this one, of course. It's House of Earth and Blood by Cassandra, I mean Sarah J. Mass. And another one was um, Clockwork. The last one, Clockwork um, Princess by Cassandra Clare. Those two, yeah, they were my absolute favorites during this time. Um, your favorite feel-good book. Mm, that one is definitely Harry Potter. And even though the world is crazy and stuff like that, I love Scythe. I love to go and read Scythe in that series. And another one is... Um, Oh my gosh, I forgot the name of it. It's by Rachel Kane, that series that I love. The um the book, I mean, you know, uh gosh, my mind went blank on it. Oh, I hate when that happens. It's my favorite book series. And my mind went blank on it. <laughs> oh boy. If I remember, I'll go back to it. Book you wish you can buy or borrow while you're in isolation. I've been getting books. That one's really hard. I am waiting on a certain book. And I thought it was going to be here yesterday. Then I thought it was going to be here today. But it's still not here. So when it gets here, that is the first book in the um, True Blood series. The Sticky, Sticky, Sticky Stock. How do you say your name? That one. I really want to read it. And it's taken forever to get here. Um... And an author that you want to shout out to is one of the books that I'm going to be reading. Lisa K. Adams. The first book in this, oh my gosh, it made me so happy. I laugh so much. I really appreciate her books and I love that it has to do with guys and it's a book club and uh, book club for guys and they're trying to do stuff in this book club, you know that pertains to whatever the um, book is like a, like this one's like basically like a what is it a mystery or something romantic suspense so I love that so shout out to her but I cannot remember the name of the book and it's my favorite series but it's the um oh my gosh I got the author's name. I told you the author's name, but I cannot remember the name of the series because my brain right now, this is how my brain is right now during isolation. I cannot remember anything. <laughs> oh boy, that's going to like drive me crazy until I remember the name of it. Okay, now that the tag is over with, let's start with the first prompt. The first prompt is to read a book with a house on the cover. I have it, what'd you call it? Because I have a house on the, the word house on the cover, and I also have that. I also have a house on the cover. I have The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Clune. There's a house there, and there's also one down here, a real tiny one, but there's a bigger one here. And this one looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. It's, I don't even remember what it's about. It says, a magical island, a dangerous task, a burning secret. 
I just know he has to, like, this guy has to, like, um, let me find it. Oh, it's about an orphanage, and, um, let's see. Oh, he's, he's assigned to, tra to travel to an orphanage on a distant island and determine whether six dangerous magical children are so dangerous. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to go too much into it, because I'll be reading it. And then you guys will, you know, know more. The next one is a book that you have to read in the same room the whole time. For that one, I have Sin Eater by Megan Campesy. Campesy? Campesy? Something like that. This one's about this girl. She stole bread and she has to like, basically she like the sins of people that are bad or something. I'll tell you. She has, to, because she was found guilty of Still in bread, she has to, she shun, she stunned, shunned, and she has a, um, a scar on her face or something like that. And she has to, um, hear the final confessions of the dying. She has to eat ritual foods that symbolize their sin as a funeral rite and thereby shoulder their transgression to grant their souls access to heaven. And then her, the lady that's mentoring her for this job um she or this crime whatever you want sentence whatever you want to say she does something she won't like hear a sin or something like that so she gets put in jail and killed and she wants revenge may i think her name is may yeah this is the handmaid's the handmaid's tale meets alice in wonderland the next one is a book that's set somewhere you would like to go. Now, this one is, I don't know wh what world, I mean, like, what state this is or anything like it. But I've always wanted to go to some type of a con, like a book con or something. So, I picked this one. This is about zombie con. And they go they go to zombie con, these three girls. And they find out that there's really zombies. And they have to fight them. And it looks like it's going to be Interesting. And the final one is a book that will make you smile. I don't know if it will make me smile, but it's going to make me laugh because this book always makes me laugh. And I already read like a couple of pages and I was already laughing. <laughs> so that is Undercover Bromance, which I was just talking about. This one I am like so excited to read. I know a lot of people didn't like this one as much as Br um, Bromance Book Club, but still, I'm so excited to read it. Yes, I am. I'm hoping, I don't know if I'm going to get to all four of these books. Because you guys know me. I've been really, really slumpy in books. But I'm going to try. My arm. Sorry, my arm is just really sore today. But, um, yeah, I cannot remember the name of the book. I'm sorry, you guys. I know you guys are probably going to know the name of the book. But my brain just right now is killing me. Killing me. I just know it's by Rachel Kane, and it's what would happen. The Great Library series. That's what it's called. The Great Library series. That one. <laughs> That's my absolutely one now. Like I really want to like reread the whole series. I reread the first one before, but never the other ones. But I want to actually reread the first one again and then read the whole one. So I might do that sometime this summer. But anyways, <laughs> I'm rambling. I know. You guys can tell I have not been doing videos lately. But you guys are getting a lot this week. Because I'm in, more in a mood to be talking about video and um, books. And doing book hauls and doing all this stuff. So, And this week it won't be really uh, scheduled like normal. Because I'm going to try to get one or two of these videos up today. Probably this one today for sure. Then I have another one where... where the two of these books I these two I talked about already because I did a book haul. And these were two of the books I got. So yeah. But I am so excited to read some of these books. I think I'm gonna go with the smallest book first, which is I believe Sin Eater, because Sin Eater is like 282 pages. So I might go with that one first. 
But yeah, those are the four books. Let me know if you guys are participating in the readathon. Even if I don't finish one book, but I read a little bit in each of these books, I'll be happy. But I am going to let you guys go because I keep rambling. I hope you guys are all having a great Thursday. I had to think what day it was. And I hope you guys are having a, better, a good reading month. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. I love you guys so much. Please remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever a video tag, redesign, TBR, whatever, is going up on my channel for you to watch and enjoy. I hope you guys all, like I said, have a great Thursday, a great weekend, and have fun and safe. Be safe. Love you guys all as a friend. I'm out of here. Until next time.